Hi everyone, Tom Larson here with Tech Training for Teachers. Today we're going to be talking about appointment schedules. This is a new feature that just hit Google Calendar. It replaces appointment slots. We're going to show you how to use it. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is to enable this new feature. So in the upper right hand corner, look for the gear icon, click it, and then choose settings. Scroll down, we're in the general area. At the very bottom, you'll see the option to create appointment schedules instead of appointment slots. Let's check this. And then we'll come back to our calendar. Next, switch from month view to either day or week. I'll choose week. Now at this point, you need to already have in mind what your schedule is going to look like. For me, I'm going to choose the days Monday, one, Wednesday, and Friday, and I want people to be able to book me uh, starting at 9 o'clock in the morning till 12, have a break between 12 and 1, and then resume my appointments from 1 until 4 o'clock. So here's how we do it. I'll begin on a Monday here, and I'll just click at 9 o'clock a.m., and I'm going to call this Tech Appointments. Okay. You'll see a few options here going across the top. We're going to choose appointment schedule. Okay. Monday, April 25th, 9 to 10 a.m. This is actually going to change here. All right. So we're going to say create a new appointment schedule. So I'm going to switch this to 12 o'clock p.m. All right. And then we'll click continue. You can see that our appointment duration is going to be 30 minutes. That's exactly what I want, so I don't need to change anything there. All right, uh, on Monday, 9 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m., that's going to work. All right, I also want to add 1 o'clock to 4 p.m. All right, so 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, so that's what my schedule is going to look like on Monday. I want to be able to have lunch, so that's why I'm not making uh, noon to one as a time slot that people can reserve. All right. So what I'd like to do at this point is to just go ahead and duplicate this for Wednesday and Friday. All right. That looks pretty good. All right. Now you, you do have some other options here. You can see the scheduling window 60 days in advance to 12 hours before will begin on April 24th. Okay, so this just refers to when people can begin making these appointments, all right? Uh, you can make it available now, or you can choose to open it up on the 24th, all right? I'll say make it available now. One nice feature that you may want to explore a little bit more, I'm not going to really cover it too much here in today's tutorial, is the booked appointment settings. If we choose that, you're going to see that you can give yourself a little bit of a buffer time uh, both before and after a meeting so uh, just be aware that that option is there should you decide to take advantage of it right all right if everything looks the way you want click next okay this is kinda cool booking page photo and name so what Google Calendar does is it creates this uh, unique web page that's specific to you and your appointments all right and this can be customized uh, you can see if we click this drop down menu here it's going to use my little avatar here that I've created you could use your own photo uh, location and conferencing you could be as specific as you want here if you wanted this to be strictly appointments made online virtually you could choose that as an option in-person meeting or even a phone call all right you decide all right uh, a description all right, in this case, I'm going to uh, share a little bit about what my appointments are all about. So let me type that in here quickly. Okay, I've added everything I want here. Uh, the booking form. This is useful. Uh, when people go to make an appointment, they have to enter their both their first and their last name and their email address. Additionally, I think this might be useful for them to have to enter the topic that they wish to uh, have discussed. This would, uh, if you're in a support role, give you a little bit of a heads up in terms of what to prepare for. So I'm going to add that as a question. So I'll click add an item. Uh, we can ask for their phone number. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add that as well. And 
a custom item here, top topic. Okay, and that will be required as well. we'll go ahead and add that. All right, so we're asking for their first name and last name, their email address, uh, the topic, and then their phone number. Okay, I think that's all that we want to add there. Booking confirmation and reminders, we can set those. Uh, an email reminder, this will not only remind us of the appointment, but it will also remind the person who made the appointment. We can set that to one day before. Uh, you can see your options here. Uh, you can also have a custom reminder, right, if none of these options fit. All right. Um, and you can set up multiple reminders if you need to. All right. Uh, I'll just have it set to one day before. Then we'll click Save. Okay, so now this is all done. So at this point, uh, we can see our appointment schedules if anyone has made them, or we could go to the booking page. Now the booking page is what you want to share out with others. You want to make this website available for others to see. Uh, here's what it looks like. If we click on this little link here, visitors to our page will will see the options and it's just a matter of them clicking on it. Now I have a demo account that I'm going to use uh, to show you all how this works. All right, so let me go ahead and copy this uh, URL and we're going to assume that this now has been posted to my uh, to my website. Okay, here we are. Bessie Briggs is wanting to make an appointment with me. So as you can see, here they are. Here's all the options. So Bessie wants to set up an appointment with me on Monday the 25th at 10 o'clock a.m. So what Bessie will do is she will click there and then she'll be required to enter her name. All right. Okay, there's her phone number. And Bessie wants to talk about Google Docs and slides. All right, so click book and close. Now, if I come back here to my Google Calendar, I'm going to see that ah, on the 25th, I have an appointment and it was made by Bessie Briggs. If I click on that, uh, we can see all of our details, including that topic, the information that she wants discussed during our training session. All right. What's nice about this new feature is the fact that once a booking slot is reserved or made, uh, that time slot becomes unavailable on the booking page. So you can see if I scroll over to the 25th here, uh, you can see that 10 o'clock is no longer available. That is because Bessie Briggs made the appointment with me. It only becomes visible again if, in fact, she cancels. Uh, one of the other nice things about this new feature is the fact that you don't have to have a Gmail account or Google account to make an appointment. And it's also optimized, the experience that is, so that making uh, reservations on a mobile device is very very easy it's not clunky it works the same way uh, that you would see it work on a desktop computer i hope this information was helpful if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me via email tom at techtrainingforteachers.com and if you like content like this be sure to subscribe and also click the notification icon so you know the moment new content is posted